Hello, everybody. And I want to thank you for coming to the channel, which is Deb Chanel's 40s World. But I kind of got a humanitarian type story. I wanted to break on the social media wave links this morning, this Sunday morning, June 30th at 1028 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time Zone. I just want to tell you, in the words of Cynthia's baby daddy, Jess Leon. What's Leon's last name, Sean? I don't know what Leon's last name is, but we know him as Jess Leon on Instagram. Man, this I don't know what Cynthia doing with Mike Hill, but Mike Leon it's the epitome of a man. She need to be with him. She need to be knocking down his door. She need to be trying to get back with him. Girlfriend, wife, significant other. I don't care. Because my heel ain't got nothing on Leon. Okay? Leon is the prize catch. Now, unless Leon don't like women, and that's okay because everybody doing their own thing out him, I personally don't see why Cynthia don't go run after him if he like women. You know what I'm saying? Because what he did on Instagram or what he was telling us about a particular thing that just happened to him. I guess he's up in New York or, or whatnot. Is saying the Upper West Side. So I'm thinking it's in New York. He helped out a lady that he saw struggling with her bags. Okay. Yes, Lord. He said Shiver is not dead. Okay. But he just watched a particular person struggle she i'm want to think she was in petite frame maybe short whatever trying to go on a trip or trying to get somewhere and she was taking her luggage so maybe she was traveling to a certain place in time okay but he recognized that she was coming out of her apartment building or the place he thought she lived and she was just struggling with this bag a man coming out the same apartment complex she lived in he described him as a six three type of brother i'm thinking black only because of what he was giving me, I'm assuming, could have been Caucasian, could have been Asian, could have been any other nationality or race, okay? I'm not uh, privy to that information, so I'm just going to assume it was the black man he was referring to that was 6'3". Said he walked all the way around her, didn't try to offer no assistance or anything. Then the Uber driver waiting on her, he didn't get out of his car to assist when he saw her struggling as well. They're looking at the same... Um, what do you call it? Picture as he is looking at it, but his heart just goes out to the woman. So he see the overdriver not getting out, not trying to help her. He see the six, three foot tall guy going around her like she's some kind of obstacle he needs to get around and maneuver so he can get on to what he's doing. And he's like, This ain't right. This ain't right. Don't they see the same thing I'm seeing? This woman struggling. He says, that is sugar is there. He said, not with him, not today. His mama raised him, right? His mama, daddy, grandmama, anybody else in the black community. They raised him and taught him well to respect elders and help people in need, okay? Whether you had to do it financially or just, you know, being a good citizen, humanitarian, and assisting where you can assist, especially if it ain't cost you nothing but time. You know what I'm saying? Time, all right? But let me see if y'all can, um, I'm going to try to play it. Um, so y'all can hear it because I, I don't know, my camera's not working. I can't even get on camera and show y'all my beautiful face and my theatrics or my facial expressions and my body language. I got to get another computer. Okay, I'm not going to ask y'all to help me with it because I believe in, you know, trying to do things for myself and then let other people enjoy my uh, creations. You know what I'm saying? Everything ain't worth somebody, you know, donating to me unless they really want to and just that it's all right. And that's cool too. But I'm going to give me another computer because this is not working. I need y'all to see me sometimes. Sometimes we want to see on, be seen on screen. But y'all didn't come here for that. Y'all came here for my commentary. So we're going to get back to Leon. So anybody that don't follow him or whatnot, I want to follow the brother. He's a stand-up guy. Okay? Um, his Instagram account is www.just um, Leon. L-E-O-N. I'm like, he's the sugar and dead and from what he said and, and did, he right. It ain't dead in his eyes and in his um, state of being as long as he's on this earth. So good props up, Cynthia Baylor, honey. I don't know why you didn't marry him, like I said, unless he don't like women and he like men or he just being celibate until he find the right person. But uh, I don't know. I, I just don't know. I mean, y'all say y'all good friends, y'all this, that, and the third. 
And I don't know how you let this man go. I mean, I would be stalking him. I sure would. I'd be sitting there calling him every day. She say he is her best friend. So I don't know how she's going to be having a best friend with Leon and, and, and then trying to have a best friend with her um her future beau, which is Michael Hill or Mike Hill. And I'm like, man, please, Cynthia, drop Mike and run straight to Leon's door. Okay, honey. You know, be his everything. <laughs> Serenade him. Do whatever you got to do. Put this man in your life. You need this type of man in your life, girl. But anyway, let me let y'all hear, if y'all can, um, what he was saying on his Instagram account. If y'all can't hear it, just go on in your Instagram account or make an account and follow positive people like this. Because that's what you need. You need to surround yourself by positivity. Because there's too much negativity in the world and people doing uh, what they want to do and they self-indulgence of self, lovers of self and all that stuff. We know that's the thing. You can't just love yourself all the time and not get love to somebody else, okay? But Leon is the epitome. The epitome of Christ-like behavior, okay? So I'm going to let y'all get a whiff of it and see if y'all can hear. I can't show y'all like I said, I need another computer. It won't show nothing, okay? I don't know if the devil playing with me today or whatnot, but I I, I cancel him. I rebuke him in the name of Jesus Christ, and we're going to get this story on out here because we never hear good things about people doing good humanitarian things enough. People always want to gra gravitate to drama, and that's what feeds their soul or their they appetite, but sometimes you got to look out for people that's doing a darn thing, living, walking like Christ, and, and, and I just got to give it to Leon. I, uh, whoo, I'm, uh, hey, if he like the older women, send him my way. Because <laughs> I'm telling you, Leon is what you need, or this type of guy is what you need in your life. And let me give y'all a little here, listen to it. But go on over to his account so you can get a visual, his facial expressions and everything. Because they're giving me everything this morning. Everything you hear me, and I thank the law for waking me up to see another beautiful day because it could have been the other way. I could have been pushing up daisies, but I praise him and I thank him in Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father's name, honey. But yes, I had to get that story out. And if Cynthia ain't putting it on her Instagram account, shame on her. But honey, I'm telling Cynthia, if anybody got ears to hear and eyes to see, tell Cynthia Bailey to stop fooling around with Mike Hill and go run her way back to her baby daddy and make that a family. Huh, again, okay, but anyway, moving on, here's the video, uh, uh, what do you call it, voice uh, message, he was displaying, let me see if I can get it. I helped her, she was thankful, I asked her, does that guy live in your building? She says yes, just struck me kind of funny, is that the way it is now? Man, we don't help a woman who's struggling with a back? <laughs> I hope that's just an isolated situation of a Two men that were raised right. Shuri's not dead. Trust. This is not dead here. So I want to share something with you that I just peeped. Just dropped the car off at the garage and I'm walking down the street. And I couldn't help notice that this relatively small young woman is struggling with this big suitcase trying to get it down the steps of a brownstone. I see this guy by 6'3 walk out of the building, just scoot around her, doesn't even help her with a bag. She finally makes it down the steps and the Uber driver driving a van just doesn't even get out the car. So she has to walk around back, open the door, and she couldn't even lift the suitcase into the van. So I ran across the street. I helped her. She was thankful. I asked her, does that guy live in your building? And she says, yes. It just struck me kind of funny. Is that the way it is now? Man, we don't help a woman who's struggling with a bag. <laughs> I hope that's just an isolated situation of uh, two men that weren't raised right Shuri's not dead. Trust. This is not dead here. So I want to share something with you that I just peeped. Just dropped the car from the garage and I'm walking down the street. And I couldn't help but notice that this relatively small young woman is struggling with this big suitcase trying to get it down the steps of a brownstone. I see this guy by 6'3 walk out of the building. Just scoot around her. Doesn't even help her with a bag. She finally makes it down the steps. And the Uber driver driving a van just doesn't even get out the car so she has to walk around back open the door and she couldn't even lift the suitcase into the van so i ran across the street i helped her she was thankful i asked her does that guy live in your building she says yes it just struck me kind of funny is that the way it is now man we don't help a woman who's struggling with a bag <laughs> i hope that's just an isolated situation of two men that weren't raised right Shuri's not dead. Trust. 
This is not dead here. So I want to share something. Now, I don't play it, you know, consecutive times back to back. And I'm telling you, honey, that just gets me all the way lit for a guy like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just motivate it. Just do it because he know it's right. And he does the darn thing. And I'm like, okay, he didn't put the lady on blast. He didn't take a picture of it to show who he had helped. Just honest, um, Samaritan, good Samaritan type spirit going on him. So, like I said, I don't, I don't have all the information of why Cynthia and Leon did not connect into a matrimony. They just had the baby and became good friends and co-parenting, doing an excellent job. But I, I just don't see. It. I, like I said, I'm not giving all the information because so I can only speculate that. Hey, it just went in the cause for them. I don't know, maybe in another lifetime, but I wish it was in this lifetime. Because Cynthia, you know, she's not being portrayed. And like I said, I don't know if it's just a, a, a act she's putting on when she's on Real Housewives of Atlanta and how she portrays herself to be. Genuinely, I think she is a very nice and sweet person. And you would uh, gladly have her in your um, your arsenal of friendships to be one of the strongest ones you can have with the individual. But, you know, to me, it's just like she don't have a backbone. And if I would say that and I just, you know, huh, you know, <laughs> Leon is just would be good for her. And, and I, I, I just don't see why they just never connected. You know what I'm saying? They two beautiful people together had a beautiful daughter. She seems to have a lot of intellect about herself, intellectual things going on in that brain up there of hers. And she just handles herself with the epitome of a very nice young lady. So I give kudos to the Lord for blessing, giving them a gift such as Noel, and them definitely influence her, influencing her in positive uh, ways, and and you know making sure she evolves the way that she needs to be to be a good person in society and do good. Uh, for society and for herself. But I was just like, how did you let him go, Cynthia? How did you let him go, girl? I ain't got all the answers and I'm searching for them. But if anybody can get this video to her, tell her to drop my heel, run to Leon <laughs> if he is willing to have her. And and because they both in New York, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, please go and, and, and create your family that was probably meant to be in my eyes. My opinion only. I'm just giving my suggestions. Beautiful, beautiful people. Beautiful people. You know what I'm saying? Never have heard anything bad in the acting world or the entertainment world about Leon. Never had anything bad to say or uh, she infringed or did some craziness uh, breaking laws and stuff on Cynthia Bailey. So epitome of a good person. Why these two people can't get together and become a family? I mean, you know, you don't have to have a contract and marriage to do that because they definitely will solidify that uh, in how they carry themselves now, um, being a family, but not necessarily, you know, a, mar a marriage family type of system the way we see it. But I'm like, uh-uh, honey, you let this one get away, girl. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know uh, what his uh, sexual preference is, you know. But if it is of a woman, girl, I'd be, like, trying to uh, win him over somehow, some way. Because it seems like Leon has always been there for you, have always been there to uh, listen uh, bend an ear, have a shoulder to cry on type of scenario. This is just what I'm feeling and I'm getting the energy from him. And he's a, he seems like he's very supportive of whatever you do, whenever, however, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I just don't get that same vibe with Mike here. I'm sorry. I would probably feel that way until you go out these airways or I go out this uh, life of existence, plane of existence. But I just don't, I just think you, oh, you're just bad at picking men, Cynthia. You're just bad at picking men. Because I, I don't like Mike. I ain't gonna, I, I mix no words in that. He just gives me a opportunist. That's what he just gives me because, you know, he's in the entertainment world when it comes to uh, sports. Now he wants to be all up in your world in entertainment and get very well known to people that don't like sports. And I, it's just like an opportunist. I'm sorry. But I'm just all up. And I'm Team Leon. Team Leon and Cynthia and Noel. <laughs> I 
I just liked it. I liked it. So I had to spread it out to you all. But like I said, if you couldn't hear it for whatever reason, it's not on your end. It's on my end. It's my uh, computer I don't have for at least over 10 years, I believe. So I need another one. I need another one. But it just is what it is. Okay. But I'm going to try to do better with uh, getting better equipment and this, that, and third. But you know, hey. Money's an issue right now, so I had to get, I had to cry before I can walk, okay? So like I said, I left this platform alone for a while because, you know, it wasn't really something that I wanted to do on a daily basis because I know uh, I don't like being on the internet or too much. You know, I have to have my balance, and it was just taking too much time. It's just becoming a job, another job that you have to be really focused in, and you have to put all your tools and education and building and I, I this just this is fun for me. This is fun. I like to make supplement income. But you know, like I said, I hadn't got paid for YouTube in about I may have gotten maybe two checks last year, two or three checks. And that was it. And you know, I just started back the, the middle part of this year. So I know it ain't gonna be too much. But um I you know when I see humanitarian stuff like this, it just it just does my heart all the good to just express it and spread it and try to make this video go viral and definitely support Leon uh, on his Instagram account or Facebook or wherever else he on. I just know him on Instagram and I follow him. But he's a good true brother. He 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 playing it forward and doing it every day. You know what I'm saying? He doing it. And you know I, I watched a, a several movies he was in. Very very good actor. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he's uh, been slept on as far as I can see. He's been a slept on actor because he could have gotten a lot, a lot of more roles. But then again, he might be picking and choosing what he wants to be seen in. And I ain't got, no, I ain't got nothing against that either, brother. Do your thing. But Cynthia, Cynthia, if you hear me, if you have eyes to see, ears to hear, please go and rekindle or do something with uh, Leon, because he's just a hot specimen, girl. He got it all. He's the Black American Express card in my book, okay? Whew. Since he has sensitivity, he has money, he has influence. Girl! And the things that y'all could be doing together, marketing you all sales together. Girl! Oh, anyway, do you, Cynthia? Because that's all it's really about at the end of the day, is making yourself happy and who you want to be with. But if, girl, if you were my child, I'd be like, mm, you can't bring nobody home to the table, to the house, to meet and greet but Leon. I don't want to see nobody else. <laughs> Peter was enough, okay? Peter was enough. Peter, 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 Peter was enough, okay? You can't bring Leon back to the circle. I, I, I can't. I can't. You, you, you go have a fun out of fun you want to. But when you're talking about matrimony, you're talking about getting married again, you, go seek, go seek, go knock at Leon's door, okay? That's the only person I could take at this time in my lifetime, all right? Anyway, peace and blessings to you all. And if you do have humanitarian stories that you want me to cover, uh, please, because I, I, I love these type of good feel, feel good type of stories. I love them. I love them. I appreciate them. And it keeps me going each day to let me know there's good Samaritans out there. OK, there are good Samaritans out there that still want to do the correct and honorable thing. Thank you, Leon. If nobody told you, thank you. Thank you for being the man, the stand-up guy that you are. Peace and blessings to you and yours. Bye-bye.